of a week, and today I'm going to be showing you how to downgrade your A5 device uh, from iOS 6 beta 1 to uh, iOS 5.1 or basically any firmware that you have your SHSH blob saved for. So all you have to do is download Redstone here. Um, I don't know what the the, uh, the newest version is. This one I have is beta 2 here, uh, but whatever, this one will work for sure. Um, and I believe any future updates will include this feature as well. So I'll just include down link in the description below and you can go ahead and download that. You're going to go to Extras, Even More, Restore, and then uh, IPSW here. You're going to go ahead and download your IPSW off the website. You can just search Google um, for the IPSW. And all you have to do is select it here. I'm going to go back to 5.1, so hit Open. So it warns you about the basement updates. So if you don't lock, you want to make sure that updating the baseband uh, will not affect your unlock. Uh, and then you can read through the warning and see if it will affect you or not. It gives some information here about the SAM unlock and stuff like that. Uh, and that's if you want to continue it. Yes. Just enter recovery. Hit OK. And I will see you in a second here. It'll, it'll go to recovery. And while it's doing this, I'm going to explain. Um, I couldn't find a way to downgrade my iPad Touch 4 generation. Uh, I believe you can um, just use iTunes right now because they're not. Uh, right now, they're still signing for 5.1.1 because that is the newest firmware out. Uh, so I believe if you're on beta 1 with an A4 device, you can just go into iTunes and hold um, Shift Restore if you're on Windows and hold Option Restore if you're on Mac and then just select 5.1.1 and, and it should downgrade. I'm not positive that'll work or not, uh, but if it doesn't work, I believe you can also use iFaith. And iFaith pretty much stitches the SHSH blob into the IPSW file and then you just restore that IPSW file using iTunes and uh, I believe that's how that will work. I'm not positive that'll work or not. But at this point, uh, you can select either remote or local. For some reason, local is not an option for me right now. Uh, but I do have the the the, uh, the blob saved remotely. Uh, but local means like if you use a program like Tiny Umbrella here, I actually use Tiny Umbrella myself to save my SHSH blobs. Uh, but if you do use Tiny Umbrella, just go ahead and go to folder, and then um, you have to locate this in Tiny Umbrella. It's going to open this up and I'll show you how to figure out where it is located at on your computer. So here in Tiny Umbrella, you can just go to the advanced tab and it says save SHSH directory and it gives it right there. Uh, then you just go to finder, hit go, go to folder and paste that directory right into there and hit go. And I got all my blobs saved right in there. And uh, then you just select that blob, but for some reason Redstone's not giving the option to do local and it can only save it remotely and that means if you've been jailbroken on that software, uh, it like, saves it to the city of remote server, the city of like fetches the SHSH blobs for you uh, and you can just hit remote. Alright, and then if you don't know if you have your blob saved or not, uh, just go ahead and choose remote. Uh, and if it doesn't work, then you probably don't have them saved. And uh, if it does, then obviously you do have them saved. Um, so let's go ahead and select remote, and it'll fetch the blobs from the server. And I don't know why local wasn't an option for me. Um, it should be, I don't know why it wasn't. But if local is an option for you guys, um, like I showed you already, that's how you uh, use it. You just, fetch, you just find the blob saved in your computer. Alright, so it's currently restoring the system image. And uh, on my my uh, my iPhone 4s here, it just says uh, it's just showing the normal restore uh, loading bar and everything. It's got the Apple logo and then the restore bar below it, showing the progress. All right, now it says the restore was successful. Uh, go, ahead and, go ahead and hit OK, and the device is now booting up. And I'll show you guys on iTunes now. Uh, when the device boots up, I'll show you that I am on uh, on iOS 5.1.1. So let's see here. All right, so there we are. Uh, it has restored. Actually, I can't show you that it restored to um, 5.1 yet. Hold on one second, I'll finish restoring to the backup, and uh, then I'll show you guys. Alright, so there we are, guys. It says software version 5.1.1. Uh, so that is uh, the proof that it has restored. I can guarantee you guys this will work when you use Red Snow uh, to downgrade. Uh, but for your A4 devices, that's like the Apple Touch and everything, all of the A4 devices, I cannot guarantee that it will work. Um, I actually know for sure that Red still will not work to downgrade it. And like I said, uh, holding shift or option, depending on what operating system you're running, and then clicking restore. I don't know if that'll work or not. It should work. Uh, I don't see why it wouldn't work because Apple is still signing for 5.1, so you do not need the SHSH blobs to restore, so it should work, but I'm not positive it will or not. And like I said, iFaith uh, may work for this, but I don't know if it's been updated to work with the uh, the newer uh, iOS versions or not. Um, just going to research that, search Google or something. Because uh, I'm not positive on that either. Uh, but I hope this helped you out, guys, and I hope it works fine. If you guys do have any problems, uh, just go ahead and comment down below. Uh, actually, I'd prefer if you guys contact me on Twitter. Um, my Twitter username is the same as my YouTube username. I take every week. Uh, Twitter is just a lot simpler to. If you guys need help, you can just mention me on Twitter. 
Um, the comments on YouTube is very difficult to keep track of the conversation. I'm trying to help you out with the problem. Uh, so I prefer if you contact me over Twitter. Uh, but if you guys want my future videos, go ahead and subscribe at the top and that will notify you when I release those videos. Um, we'll have more jailbreak tutorials and jailbreak news. And I pretty much just cover all the tech Apple stuff, um, all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in any of that content, you want to just subscribe at the top. And I'll catch you guys next video. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you later.